free throws was huge, and you know, and Devin, Devin Booker. Um, those two really hurt us, and you know, we, we, we had some bad fouls when we got in there really early. Um, we wanted to bring up his account, but we got to be a little smarter. You know, we can't foul um, off the ball, you know, when they're in the moments and things like that. But I like I like what we brought. We did some good things, and um, I loved our fight, our, our competitive nature um, tonight. You know, I thought everybody brought it. Um, and we just didn't, uh, some calls just didn't go our way. And um, like I said, just a small amount of game, they played well, we fought, we competed. And um, a couple times it was hard for us to get rebounds. We got balls on eight <laughs> down low in rotations. Um, but like I said, I, I love our fight, I love what we did tonight. Uh, you guys shot better from the field at 50 points in the paint and uh, shot 43 from the three Do you think there's anything more you guys could have done this one? Yeah, we could have took care of the ball in the first half. You know, um, I thought, you know, turning the ball over early, you know, kind of got them going. Katie got a dunk, we got a three-point shot, transition, got a layup. And so early on, we jumped out 6 0 I thought we had three turns in a row, and it kind of got them back in the game, kind of got them going. But in the second half, we did a better job of taking care of the basketball. I think we were able to shoot 60% in the second half. You know, so just taking care of the basketball. I thought, you know, Russ and Norm, you know, Russ was slow start, but after that, him and Norm really carried us offensively. And then, like I said, everybody else just chipped in doing their part, you know, so I was just very proud of the guys in the locker room. Ty, incredible effort from Norm today, especially taking advantage of the opportunity he had to start, hit from almost anywhere, opening up transition. What did you like most about his effort tonight? Um, just picking and choosing the spots. I think the three ball, I think getting to the basket, getting to the mid range, floaters. Um, I thought I did a good job just mixing it up. And um, like I said, he was huge. We knew we needed a big game for him with Kawhi being out. And um, like I said, he did that. He didn't know stepped up, bones off the bench, but it was really good. And um, like I said, we go to the end again on Saturday. Hey, um, you look at how that whole thing gets in the spots. It was more basically a challenge to see the way with you. He wants to bring us all the way to the Um, I think just the biggest thing we try to blitz, we try to fire, but his speed and his shifting is, you know, gave us a lot of problems. Um, we've been able to reject the fires, we've been able to reject the blitzes, we've been able to split the blitzes, and um, you know, we give it, you know, early in the game, we got to lay up the three, you know, on off our turtles and kind of get it going. And when you got a great player like that, you know, it's hard to, you know, kind of. Keep him under control when he's easy to start the game, you know. So we got to be better at that. But like I said, he had it going. We tried every day, and uh, he was able to beat us. Um, like I said, first our blitzes, first our fires, you know, first our double teams, and he was able to split us and dribble around us a lot as well. So we just got to lock into that, understand, you know, what we try. We got to do better. Um, but you know, he was really good again tonight. You know, we've been here before, you know, um, as crazy as it may sound, you know, we have a, you know, a great roster and, and a deep team. And so other guys have an opportunity to step up and play well. And I thought a lot of guys did that tonight, you know, and so you had to see PG and Kawhi go down. But, you know, but control, we control. You know, that's all we can do. And just come out and play hard for me every single night. Like I said, I thought our guys did that. And so I'm um, changing, you know, a few of the plays and changing some things we do offensively with Kawhi being out. I thought the guy did a good job of executing that. Is it just stuff that you've used at other times when they both been out, or when yes, it's out, or it's new stuff? No, it's something new, but mostly the stuff we've been running, um, you know, when those guys are out and stuff. Um, I thought the guy did a good job of that. Uh, I know you haven't looked at the film yet, but when Booker, you said how great you played tonight, he's averaging 36 in this series. Defensively, what is he doing that's going beyond your film study? And what we're trying to do defensively. Um, just talked about it earlier. Like, you know, when we blitz him, he's splitting the blitz. And, you know, he's rejecting the blitz. He's jumping around the blitz. And we're firing. He's going quick. And so, like, he's shifty. You know, he's, he's elusive. And so, um, we just got to be a, do a better job, I think, more so than attacking him. We just got to probably corral more so than trying to attack him because he is shifty. You know, he gets to the free throw line. He can turn the corner. He can split you. That's what he did to us tonight. You know, he came in, you know, 
to the game, wanted to blitz him and wanted to keep the ball in his hands, but he did a lot of stuff early in transition, attacking quick before our Browns should get there and our double teams would get there. But like I said, he's seen all the defense you can possibly see, so he's prepared for it, but we got to be better what we're doing. Ty, um, you talked about your process and learning that you were going to be without a lag tonight, but it, it could have been easy for Russell Westbrook to come out and press. What, what did you see from him in terms of setting the tone for your team? Um, I thought it was great. I thought um, it was kind of the opposite. You know, he tried to start out by passing, trying to get guys going instead of just, you know, reading the defense and being aggressive to score the basketball. And so we just had a little talk. Just told him to be aggressive attack. And his passing opened up for him to be an aggressive attack in the basket. That's what he did. And um, after those first six minutes, I thought, you know, we really calmed down offensively. He was able to you know, play better, take care of the basketball. Hey, Ty, uh, after game one, the Kawhi played 40 plus minutes. You said this is what we've been building for towards all season for him to get to this point. When you get the word that you know, he won't be able to play, how deflating is that in the moment? How long does it take for you to move on just in your spirit to be able to, you know, to go from a place where you're 1 1 and you feel like you got maybe you have a handle on the series to completely have to go in a different direction? I mean, it's very deflating, you know, and, uh, you know, I think more so for Kawhi because, you know, you have a, a guy who's come off ACL, who hasn't missed a rehab session, eats right, eats clean, does everything he can for his body, works extremely hard um, to get to this point. And then, you know, you have something like this happen, you know, so it's, it's tough for him, you know, um, for all the work that he puts in, you know. So I feel bad for him, you know, and you know, our team, like I said, you know, our guys have you know, been through a lot this year, the last two years, and just for us to, to compete to, to get to the point where we make the playoffs and we're feeling, you know, pretty good outside of having PG out. You know, it's like I said, this happens. It's, you know, it's, it's a blow, you know, but there's nothing we can do about it. Like I said, we just got to come out and compete the way we did tonight and then clean up some things, take care of the basketball, and then eventually, you know, just just being more solid and thinking booker. And we try, you know, he's, he's, he's a tough guy to cover, you know, so just figuring out different ways to try to keep him under control. Ty in the back. With something I was saying after wearing the crowds out, obviously there's a, a rush of energy knowing that you have to compensate for that. With a matinee game coming up Saturday, how do you guys replicate this kind of energy and frenetic pace you guys play tonight in a matinee game where you guys traditionally have struggled sometimes with stars? I mean, I don't know. I mean, our guys are ready to go. I mean, how do they, how do, they do it? They play 44 minutes tonight, so they, they do it. I mean, they feel the same way we feel. You know, it's just the playoffs, and so you don't have time for. You know, when the time the game starts, it starts at 4 o'clock in the morning, we got to be ready to play. You know, there's no excuses. So, uh, we'll be ready. You know, we'll be, you know, we'll have the same energy and uh, we'll play the same way. We'll, we'll attack and be aggressive. Just, you know, hopefully, um, you know, I can't say that, but, yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Get ready for Hoop Jab.